Party never ends. What's good, YouTube, man? Welcome back to another video with your boy, Ronnie. And I'm in here, and today we're doing a reaction. We got a little reaction going on. Y'all already know how the reactions go. And, you know, I'm going to keep sending reactions, man. This should, we should have a reaction counter right here just to show how many times I didn't say a reaction. There's no point because I ain't going to say it no more. But today we're going to be doing a reaction. <laughs> yeah, but now, nah, look, straight up, though. Today we're going to be reacting to the truth. By Malik, man. If you don't know who Malik is, Malik was one of the people that Pretty Boy Fredo brought up. And if you don't know, right now, Pretty Boy Fredo is being exposed for being a scammer. But I kind of already knew that. I've been unfollowed, unsubscribed to him a long time ago, bro. Back when his, when I first figured out his videos was fake. And this was before, like, everybody started to figure out his videos was fake. We all knew the, the man video was a fake, man. You know what I'm saying? But supposedly now he's a scammer. Now he's scamming people. Up and coming YouTubers, he's scamming them. He like, yo, I could put you on. He he take their videos. He take he post them on his channel. And he take their money, basically, man. Um, Shout out. You know what I'm saying? Like DDG said, man. Yeah, pay, pay Ebola, man. Pay that man Ebola, man. Supposedly, uh, Pretty Boy Fredo owe Ebola. Ten vans. Ten vans is crazy. I forgot the exact number. I think it's 10.2. You know what I'm saying? 10,260, something like that. He owed a man 10 bands. He needed to pay up the 10 bands. You feel me? A couple other people were claiming they got scammed too. That was also an SSH. But hey, I, I think the biggest, the biggest person that really need their cash is that boy Ebola, man. So you know what I'm saying? Put that in the comments. Man. Hashtag pay Ebola, man. We we gonna get a hashtag going for my boy so he can get paid up. But yeah, so right now Malik is speaking out, and this is this right here is gonna solidify whether or not all these allegations is true. And I I'm really curious to what he's gonna say. And if he does say like some crazy shit, I wonder if if Pretty Boy Fredo paid him off to say it. you know what I'm saying type shit. Cause you know like him and Malik was like this for them to fall out like that. It's kind of crazy. So who knows. We're going to see. We're going to see what the video talking about. Like I said, I'm going into this blind. Um, be sure to hit that like button. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Your boy need to... Your boy need both, man. Come on now. Tap in. Because I feel like this is a really big thing. And the whole reason I made this video is because of this. What? I just want to start this video by saying sorry to my supporters, to my uh -huh. friends, and most importantly, my... I remember following him. And this, is, this man post like one video a year <laughs> i remember following him bro and like i said he just post like one video a year i feel like he always apologizing he like how i used to be family ever since the group broke up i didn't really want to make content i didn't want to chill with my friends i didn't want to do anything you know what i'm saying all i did was focus on my businesses uh and that's about it i didn't talk to fredo for eight months i didn't talk to keith barry and cam that much either like i talked to them and he kind of got pretty afraid of cadence, don't he? He kind of looked like his son, and he kind of talked like him. That's kind of crazy. That's weird. Every, every other day, and then it just gradually, I stopped talking to them as well. YouTube is my passion, my life. Uh, I love this career, you know what I'm saying? Yo, so like when all the falling out it's happened and stuff, like, it just put me in a bad spot where I was like, damn, like, all this over some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Let's start from the beginning. So the reason SSH broke up, nothing that no one knows. Uh, I didn't want to sign a contract, bro. It was 15%. And at the time, I didn't understand it. I didn't agree with it. They go to contract. They go to contract. If you watched any of the other exposed videos, that's the main thing, the contract. They keep talking about contract. That boy pretty well afraid to love him a contract. You know what I'm saying? He might be the next Illuminati. And the other guys are ready to sign and Fredo is like, uh, if you don't sign this contract, we can't do videos. Like he wanted 15%. I didn't want to give him 15%. So boom, we stopped doing videos just like that. And like starting around that time is when everything just started going downhill. Like, so, uh, he didn't want to do videos. Uh, Bari made exposed videos and everything. We just all went our separate ways. You guys don't know this, but I own four businesses and I own two houses. I do Airbnbs, e-commerce. Like I kind of just gravitated toward that lane because I've already been doing those things. People we worked with when he filmed this show and also Cam and stuff like that. Y'all have to remember, I haven't talked to Fredo in eight months. I just started talking to this nigga again like two months ago. You know what I'm saying? So 
I don't know how bro moving. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if this is true or not. I'm hearing it just like y'all. I'm hearing shit just no like- No way he made a video called the truth. Bro, he capping just like him. He's capping just like him. The cadence, everything is there. Why is you making this video if you don't know? Man, we want to know. I'm clickbaiting though. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get my view. Thank y'all. You know, uh, bro say this. I'm watching the video. I'm, I'm listening to it. I'm seeing what bro said. Bro say this. I'm watching his video, I'm seeing what he said. But bro, I don't know. Like, I don't be around like that. Like, I see all these comments like, Malik, say something, say something, say something, say something, say something. And I, I don't know what y'all want me to say, man. Like, all I can speak on is my experiences and, and things that I have went through or things that um, have happened to me. I can't speak on another man's situation and that's what all these other situations are. I'm not defending anybody. I feel like if, if you make mistakes, you should own up to your actions. If you do something, you should own up to it. And that's, that's just being a man, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, if these things are true, I feel like bro should own up to it. I feel like he should be a man and accept it and move on because that's what men do, you know? Like just address it, move on. That's all you gotta do, man. I gravitate away from drama. And that's why y'all never see me in any of these situations. It's not good for me. I remove myself from that situation. And that's just to protect my peace and protect me who I am. You know what I'm saying? Yo, this boy is Lil Fredo. This is Lil Fredo. Like, I feel like I'm watching a Pretty Boy Fredo video. <laughs> this is crazy. But, hey, bro, why he, you know what I'm saying? He had me hyped up. He thought, I, I thought he had some, you know what I'm saying? Some, what, they, what the women call it? Some tea. Well, he had some tea. The reason it took me so long to make this video is because, one, I was never going to make this video. Uh, I'm not an internet guy, bro. I don't believe in making exposed videos or anything like that because I feel like you're a man and... I'm gonna be honest, bro. If I've ever had a problem with any of these guys, I've always spoke to them in person, bro. I never wanted to be reach out on the internet when I can just call one of these guys and, and speak to them. And plus, I really don't be having problems with none of these guys. I've never had a problem with Keith Bar Cam, Fredo, like I've had problems with him in the past, but like, I don't know, man. The way I move, I push that shit to the side, I charge it to the game because I feel like I'm a man, I'm my own man. Um, I don't let any, any yeah, but if you can't, if you can't, if you're trying to bring the situation to that person and they are blocking you and ignoring you, then you gotta, I mean, you might as well take it to your platform. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like that's why they did it. <laughs> In any situation make me feel any type of way. I'm going to be, especially for 10 bands. I'm bringing that down. I'm, I'm going to the news. I'm going to ABC one, two, three. Be honest, bro. Like, like if somebody's moving a certain type of way, I'm gonna move according, you know what I'm saying? Also, I gotta address this man because I feel like this is a really big thing and the whole reason I made this video is because of this. So guys, I personally do not owe anybody money. I don't owe anyone money. I literally do not owe anyone money, all right? I wish you guys knew, but behind the scenes, man, I help all of these guys uh, make money and I work with all of these guys, the old SSH members and uh, even Fredo, like I've helped in the past make all of these guys money. So I have a really good track record with all of these guys. Everybody in my life have a really good track record. So I don't, I don't owe anybody money. Also, another thing I wanted to talk about is this connotation that everybody says Malik doesn't make videos because he's afraid of uh, Fredo. And that is very far from the case, bro. No disrespect to the man at all, but I'm not scared of Fredo, bro. I'm just not. I can't even tell you how many times I I'm sorry, you can't. Who gonna be scared of somebody named Alfredo? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> I didn't argue with this nigga in front of their faces, man. It's been like here, 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 and here. You know what I'm saying? Like, he arguing, he's going crazy, I'm going crazy. And it never got to that point where we finna squabble or some shit, but I'm just not afraid of the nigga. Anytime I got a problem with him in person, I speak up and I tell him to his face, like, this is going on, this is how it need to be fixed, or boom, boom, or but. I've never been in a situation where I feel like I need to run to the internet to y'all for y'all to help me solve my problem. I never had that. Like, if I have a problem with bro, I address it to him straight to his face. And all the other guys know this too. That's really why I don't be making these videos, bro, because I find it lame, like I find it corny, and I, I don't got nothing bad to speak on another nigga on the internet. I just don't, bro. Like, and I appreciate y'all having my back. I appreciate y'all supporting me and like, like, uh, if you have anything to say, speak out. But, bro, I promise, man, I'm not a victim, bro. I move my own way. I'm my own boss. I'm my own man. And I move my own way. Y'all see? You see, I could say he was smart about it. He ain't signed the contract. He ain't let him get... He, he ain't get finessed. You feel me? The rest of them, they got finessed. Like, they doing... They should have known from jump that Buddy was scamming. But it's like, hey, I guess 
that boy pre boy Fredo must have talked them. You know what I'm saying? He must have talked a good talk. <laughs> he had to talk a good talk, man. But I personally, me, I'm not getting finesse like that, bro. We gonna pay up now, and I'm not signing no contract if it's not in my. You know, I'm, I take the Malik route. I'm not signing no contract, buddy. If it's not something that I feel like I should, you know what I'm saying? If it ain't benefiting me more, then why am I signing it? Especially when I'm making the content. I mean, I get it. You putting me on and shit, but you know what I'm saying? Like, if it's not in my best interest, I'm not signing it. See how I move, bro. I'm low key, man. Everybody respects me in my circle. I don't have a problem with anybody. I never had a problem with anybody. I just want my name thrown out of the equation. I'm not trying to throw no nigga under the bus or, or do anything like that. I have to speak for myself at the end of the day. And I can't let niggas keep speaking for me and you guys like just believe in whatever. You know what I'm saying? And it's nothing bad. I'm not saying anybody spoke bad on my name. I just need y'all to understand who I am. And, and the way I move. This video is for me to speak for myself and for y'all to understand me a little bit more. I wanna speak on something too, bro, because I've seen like in a lot of the other videos, like y'all are saying, uh, Fredo made y'all do this, Fredo made y'all do that. I feel like the reason y'all went through that shit is because like y'all might really do like let bro do a little bit too much. Like, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Like you guys gotta have boundaries, you know what I'm saying? If y'all giving bro all these opportunities to just run over you, like that's y'all fault, bro. Y'all can't, y'all can't be moving like that. You know, you gotta move a little bit smarter, bro. You gotta put your foot down sometimes. Like y'all niggas are men, bro. Like these stories I'm hearing, they're crazy, bro. And I'm not saying that it's right to be treated that way or for anybody to treat y'all that way if it's true. But what I'm saying is if, if it is true, Bro, y'all, come on, y'all gotta, y'all gotta really, y'all gotta get it together, man. Like, y'all gotta move according, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't wanna do something for Fredo or some shit, don't do it, you know what I'm saying? Why, why are y'all doing stuff in, that y'all don't wanna do? Also, if you don't got the bread to be, like, going places and shit, don't go, bro. I'm, and this is for everybody, like, um, don't put yourself in situations where, where you're trying to keep up with the next man, bro. Don't do it, like, move it, move at life your own pace. Yeah, like, uh, there's an opportunity, but bro, move right, like, with the opportunity. Don't just put yourself fully in a hole, like, that's not smart. You know what I'm saying? Don't put yourself in a position trying to keep up with the next man. Also, I just want to speak on the editor situation. I don't have the same editor as Fredo, so I don't know what situation they going through, you know what I'm saying? And... Uh, I can't speak on that situation either because I never even met that guy. I see everything through the same lens. I gotta say, this fit atrocious. I, hey, I had to say it, man. I, he probably just in the crib chilling, but that fit terrible, man. I, that's one thing you took from Pretty Boy Fredo, but it got some terrible fit. Is that y'all see everything? I don't know what he was doing during that whole situation with that reality TV show. Like I don't, I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I had nothing to do with none of that. Behind the scenes, I be going through my own little problems. I don't really be worried about the next man problems or what bro got going on or what this person got going on, bro. I don't be in the drama, bro. I film YouTube videos. That's what I do, man. Film YouTube videos. I run my businesses. I take care of my family. That's about it. Besides that, you won't hear nothing about Malik. Also to any creator. Oh, I fuck with all y'all. Like, I fuck with everybody, man. I don't have any bad blood with nobody, bro. Like, I don't have any beef in this whole entire world. Like, everybody fuck with me, bro. I only got good intentions, bro. I would love to collab. I would love to work with y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just about the opportunity and when it presents itself. I'll just clarify a lot of things, man, and... As far as me, I'm gonna just start posting and getting back to my regular habits, you know what I'm saying? My regular routine, because at the end of the day, man, this is a blessing, bro. YouTube is a blessing. I'm just about to start working, uh, getting back to my normal routine, my normal self. I know y'all boys miss that. I know y'all miss the lit lit videos. And uh, to Fredo, uh, bro, fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? Nothing but respect for you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know the journey we've been through, bro. You already know. You already know how I feel, bro. You know what I'm saying? To Cam, Keith, Bari, all my other friends, everybody, bro. Y'all know how I feel about y'all too, man. It's all love. Uh, to the supporters, it's all love. I love y'all so much, man. Thank you for, for this amazing journey. To everyone, bro. Like, it's all love, bro. It's all love. I hope everybody uh, has an amazing 2023. I actually feel better now that I made this video because it clears up so much of... Uh, the cloudiness, you know what I'm saying? It's been so many clouds, you know? And if there's any more clouds, I will address them because I feel like that is needed. I don't like not speaking my side of things because I see how it turns out. Like, y'all don't like it either. Y'all want me to speak my side on things. So I hope this cleared up a lot of stuff. I got a lot of good, good things coming, man. I've been working on a lot of stuff. I've been working on a lot, a lot of things in the background, bro. 
that I, I can't wait to show y'all. Make sure y'all comment in the comment section how y'all feel, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't, I, I'll leave it all on the table, you know? I don't have anything to hide with my life. Make sure y'all chat with me in the comment section, man. I will be in the comment section. I love y'all, and that's the end of the video. Oh, let's, see he, let's see if he capping, bro. Is he actually in the comment section? Is he actually in there? Ah, uh, he capping. Uh, he capping. Where he at? He said he was in the comment section, big dog. That's a good cap. That's, that's a good cap. That's good. That's a good cap. He ain't in the comment section, but hey, man. Hey, man. That's 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 the video right there, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, I thought he was gonna have some 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 hot some hot takes, man. But hey, man, it looked like he just trying to distance himself from the um from the situation, which I can understand, man. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you ain't get screwed out the deal, man. Then why then why are you in it? You feel me? Um. But shit, he, you know what I'm saying? He getting his little coin, though. You know what I'm saying? Because if it was me, too, boy, I'm getting my little coin. I'm going to post my little video, even if it is like this. It ain't really got nothing to do with this. Just be separated myself from the situation. I'm get my little, I'm get my bread. You feel me? But, hey, it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Tell me what y'all think in the comments, man. What y'all think? What y'all think about this? Me, personally, I can respect it. I can respect it. If it's real, I can respect it. I mean, so that's just my take, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Be sure to hit that like button. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Your boy is out. Should I hit a freestyle before I leave? Nah, nah, I'm cool, man. Y'all got paid for that. Word.